That's a fish. That's pushing three. He's got my bait. Did my line just break? I just broke my line on a three pounder. Shoot, man. <laughs> and my dudettes. It's a nice balmy 48 degrees in the fourth week of May. This spring has been cold, it's been wet, it's been crappy, but we're at 43 fish in the hunt for 250, so we're gonna go try to get a couple more. It's late morning right now, later than I would normally head out, but I wanted to wait until it warmed up a little bit. We're gonna go back to a 10 acre lake and we're gonna throw some Cabin Creek oval sinking worms because those have been dynamite so far this year. And we're gonna go back to the mule jig and the donkey tail and look for some panfish because that's been a lot of fun. We've caught some good panfish this year. It's worked really well. Ooh, what is that? Might be a drum or something. What is that? You are an ugly son of a gun. Kind of a cool looking fish. Somebody else is on it. What was that? Another one! Another one! Dude, it's bigger than the last one! Look at the size of that! Oh my gosh! I don't know. It's not a bluegill. I think this is a green ear sunfish? Is that what it is? Wow. Come here, Nugget. I love smallmouth. Yep, second cast. Second cast. Come here. Now you're filthy, so I'm gonna put you right back, but that's the best bass of the day right there. I'm getting soaked, so we're gonna put him back. I actually did a review on both of those products and I'll put a link down in the dibble dabble so you can check those out if you're interested in either bait. Either? Either. 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 In one bait or the other. Now I was gonna go and explore a new lake yesterday, but I decided not to. Instead, I hung back and practiced baseball with my oldest. That actually worked out really well. Atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. Keep going. He's in there, yes. That's, That's the my game. boy. That's the game. That's my boy. There you go, Dad. You better <laughs> sing this game. Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Kaden. Oh man. <laughs> Some things are more important than fishing. I love it. But today. It's time to get some bites, so here we go. It's another dreary one, but we're gonna do some work. Let's get a little better. Well, it's another windy, cold, overcast day in late May. We've had some warm days, but it's been real. Just cold and crappy, man. Nobody's out, obviously. I got the whole lake to myself because it's so crummy. And one other thing I forgot to mention is we're gonna test some spider wire braid today. I have, it's 10 pound test and it's three pound diameter. So it's not clear like the fluorocarbon I've been using, but it's thin. I should be able to get a really good hook set. I'm hoping that it doesn't get buried in on itself, which is one of the disadvantages of using really thin line like that. Let's find out, here we go. Just gonna do a straight weightless Texas rig. And normally on overcast days, I like to go with a little chartreuse or a darker color, but it's really cold. So we're gonna downsize, go with something a little more. A little more natural. Oh, you guys all just swam right in where I was gonna fish. What is going on? What is going on? Shoot. Well, and we're just gonna have to stick them hard, I suppose. I'll be honest, this line is so thin, I can't even see it. I'm literally relying 100% on feel right now. I'm gonna work down this way a little bit further than I have been, because we got this little feeder creek is up a bit. It's still pretty shallow up in here though, but we're gonna try just a little bit. That's a fish, that's a fish. First cast over here. Ooh, 
Ooh. Cam Creek, buddy. That's pushing three. He's got my bait. Did my line just break? I just broke my line on a three pounder. Shoot, man. I watched it swim off. Hopefully he's okay and it popped out. If not, it'll rust and the fish will heal. But I played that way too rough. <sighs> One of two things happened. Either, either my line broke or the, the knot actually slipped. That was user error. another good one it broke again you got to be kidding me the line it just popped off again the line broke look at it hopefully you can see that gosh dang it the the literal the knot broke all right I'm gonna try it that was a uni knot twice in a row now I'm gonna try a palomar and try again gosh dang it I've lost two good fish holy crap this could be you know, a really good line for pan fishing, but I don't think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be re-spooling and trying to find something else for bass. I really want the opportunity to try setting a hook with the Palomar knot. Okay. There's an all right fish, a lot of weeds. A lot of weeds. Good one. Just made it a day. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Nice bass. Just under two. Just under two. Over a pound and a half, but under two. Nice fish. Let's get a good release and let's get back to work. Finally got one. Didn't break that time. Look at all that muck that comes up with it. I'm actually gonna throw that back because that lets other people know where fish were caught. Leave no trace. It is really, really, really cold. Somehow I'm hung up on that branch. Well, that didn't break off, that's good. Like a crankbait? What is that? I don't want to climb around in goose poop. Oh, that's a whopper plopper. <laughs> Berkeley Chapo. Well, hot diggity dog. We'll give that a shot if it, if I can clean it. There's a big bass. Just heard me. That was a big bass. Just swam right out. Like literally in inches of water right here. All right, let's go to one more spot. I just broke off again. I'm, I, I, I don't even, you gotta be kidding me. That was another big fish. I broke off again. Dude, never again. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was brutal. I didn't miss three fish, I lost three fish. I'm sure they'll all be fine. Those hooks will rust out. Some of them weren't even deep in their mouth. They'll, they'll be okay. I'm not worried about the fish. I have never used a line this crappy. Yes, it has three pound diameter. It's very small, but it says it's rated at 10 pound test. I've used eight pound test fluorocarbon in here and not had these issues. I've used six pound test mono in here and not had these issues. I am never using this line ever again. At the very least, if I were gonna play with braid, I would up to 15 or 20 because then you'd have a slightly thicker diameter. It wouldn't be digging into itself on the spool as much. Maybe this line is more geared towards panfish. That's very possible. But I just saw a 10 pound test, thin diameter, and I thought, 
heavier line than what I've been using when in actuality it just it just was not. My time, probably like your time, is very limited. We have to make the most of it when we're able to get out. If I only catch one out of every four fish, A, I'm never gonna get to 250, and B, I'm just gonna feel completely inadequate and probably jump off a bridge. So uh, we don't we don't wanna do that. It broke off right at the hook every time. It, it's, or above the knot. It was either above the knot, and I retied right before that last fish. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop ranting. This is, I, I don't wanna have a temper tantrum fit here. You know, cry baby, woe is me. I caught a fish, I'm very grateful for that. I was able to go out and fish, I'm very grateful for that. But in our effort to constantly maximize our time on the water, that line is getting minimized, which is a fancy way of saying I'm throwing it away. I would not recommend it. Don't waste your time. I'm done with it. Thanks for coming along. We need to redeem ourselves on the next trip. I got some thinking to do. Let's get better. Throwing away the crappy line will help us get better, I think. Let's do that. See you guys in the next one.